Super excited to chat with you all today. Um, so what we'll do is we'll kind of um, we'll first start with introductions uh, with me and Jeremy. Uh, then we'll go into kind of who WP Engine is. Uh, then we'll kind of discuss the differences between the different platforms that we have. Um, and then last, kind of that go-to-market strategy that we'll all do together. And then last, any uh, questions. If you guys do have questions in between, uh, totally feel free to pipe up. I uh, have no, no problem stopping in between if you guys have something that's pressing. So with that being said, uh, we'll just hop into introductions. So I'm your guys' partner manager. What that means is I'm the internal liaison for you. Uh, I am able to get you guys connected with the different platform specialists, get you in touch with legal, um, really kind of be that uh, guide along the way. Uh, so I'll be that main point of contact for everybody. Um, and then I have included my meeting link because I like to let everybody know if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out, call, text, email, really want to be available to you guys at all times. Uh, Jeremy, if you want to go next. Absolutely. Uh, nice to meet everybody. Um, my name is Jeremy, but most people call me JJ. Um, I am uh, Anna's partner enablement manager, so I'm her technical counterpart over here. Um, my focus is on technical training and education regarding the WP Engine platform. Uh, so if at any point you guys would be interested in another meeting like this, but more focus on the technical side of things, that's really what I'm here for, just to kind of provide that training and help you guys get uh, ramped up as quickly as possible when it comes to things like migration, development, workflows, et cetera. Uh, but I wanted to meet everybody today and stick around in case there's any technical questions after the presentation. So thank for the time, everyone. Cool. Awesome. And so first kind of who we are um, as a company. So these are just some top numbers um, about WP Engine. So we are in 150 countries. Uh, we have over 1,200 employees, and that's continuing to grow. Um, reason I highlight that is just because um, a lot of our competitors, we the, our support team is the size of their company. So just kind of like to highlight just the size of who we are. Um, we have over 1.5 million websites out there. Um, and then 8% of um, WP Engine sites are visited a day. So at least once a day, you're on a WP Engine website. And then we have over 175,000 customers. Uh, another big thing about us is we are an unrivaled leader in the world. WordPress community. So we are two times larger than the next three managed WordPress platforms combined. So that's Automatic, Kinsta, and Pantheon. Um, and we are heavily involved in the WordPress community. So a lot of things that are happening and going on, uh, we know about. So we're able to make sure we grow that platform in the right way to support uh, WordPress. Just kind of like to highlight some of the companies we do work with. Uh, these are just some of the top brands. I like to highlight a couple different ones on here. Um, so we work with like Marriott and Petco and just those name brands that you do see all the time. I don't, oh, it is on here. Microsoft is another one I like to highlight. So we don't do like Microsoft's normal stuff, but we do their WordPress sites, which is huge because Microsoft can definitely host their own things if they wanted to. So it's definitely a compliment that I've, that you've chosen us to partner with for their WordPress sites. So um, also some of the partners that we are with for solutions. So we do work with Google Cloud, um, we're with Cloudflare, um, AWS, Azure. So um, these are just a couple of them, but we are definitely working with a lot of um, those name brand partners as well. One thing I like to highlight about uh, WP Engine is we are a managed solution. So a lot of people ask, what does that mean necessarily? So on the left-hand side, you'll see that's an infrastructure as a service. So if you're going to certain providers, they'll provide you with storage and databases and data centers, but they don't do much more than that. Where WP Engine, we are updating the server maintenance. We're focusing on security, support, disaster recovery plans, because you never expect a disaster to happen, but it does happen. So we're already getting ahead of that curve. So when things are going on, we know what to do, as well as providing developer tools. So really the only thing that agencies or developers have to worry about is that site development and design, and that they're able to, to really kind of focus on that and not wasting time on doing all the other things. Um, so they can just focus on the good stuff. So uh, one thing that we notice that a lot of agencies do is they'll be on a lot of different platforms. 
Um, so their current architecture, they might have some of their media sites on DigitalOcean and their brochure sites on WP Engine and then e-commerce sites on Cloudways or uh, AWS. Uh, the reason that you know, it is beneficial for uh, individuals to be partnering with one uh, company is it does help developers and architectures as well as project managers to kind of know what that project is. They know what the security is going to be, the, what the support is provided as well as the performance. So you're not necessarily wasting time trying to figure out who does what. It is a really streamlined process for you. And if it's a strong process, then hopefully you're able to continue to inquire more clients and get more projects and, and put that time where it's needed. Uh, so for shared versus dedicated, we, we like to let all of our partners know that we want to support and value each digital project um, for a couple different reasons. So the performance, support, and security, we really want to make sure we're doing an accurate scope. So we're not just looking at that technical side, but we're looking at the business side of that site as well, really to ensure that everything is looked at and getting the right solution if we wait and kind of just put them on something and then say oh we'll just see what happens we don't want that because the last thing is putting a client on somewhere and saying well we'll just see and then a fire happens we want to try to be as proactive as possible here uh, one thing um, we have done is kind of mapped out what would be on a shared versus what might be on a dedicated solution uh, so shared's pretty simple. It's going to be like those low traffic, uh, small businesses. But with that being said, there are definitely industries that they have low traffic, but they still need that dedicated environment. For example, we've worked with a lot of different banking or healthcare where they have very, very low traffic, but they need that security and they need to be like aware of what the auditors might be saying. Um, so on that uh, right hand side, it's just come at some of those um, situations where we really want to have that conversation of what a dedicated solution looks like. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to pass it over to Jeremy to talk about this next slide. Yeah, absolutely. So one of the big things that really separates the dedicated uh, systems and also just our company as a whole from the rest of them is going to be the service and support that we offer. Um, I worked on the support team here at WP Engine for a little over four years, and then I worked on the onboarding team for about a year as well before moving into the role that I'm in now. Um, Anytime you have a customer who's going to need a little bit of extra assistance or they're going to need some kind of handholding or just a guide, so to speak, to get through that onboarding process and start bringing their sites over, we obviously have a guided experience that's kind of automated that they can go through. Uh, but if they're looking for that direct one-to-one -one connection with an onboarding manager, it's a really awesome experience for them because it just provide so much value and assistance there. Uh, it includes just kind of, you know, setting up the goals at the beginning for talking to those clients and explaining exactly how the entire process is going to go from step one to step done, along with just support uh, with a direct line of communication to that individual uh, the entire time. Uh, so that can be really valuable, especially for people that have a lot of sites potentially that they might be moving over and they kind of want that uh, one-to-one uh, -one support just for the first part of that process to get their feet wet, understand what's going on and go through everything. And then after that, they're going to feel uh, trained, ready, and capable to move the rest of those websites over to our platform and go from there. Uh, the technical support is literally the star of the show at the end of the day when it comes to everything. You know, we have a ton of awesome features and we do a lot for all of our customers when it's all said and done. Uh, but support is really what sets us apart from every other host that you might have worked with uh, out there. Um, we have an extensively trained team with hundreds of members. And so you're going to get a really fast connection to, you know, an individual at the end of the day when it comes to just, you know, being in contact with somebody. Uh, but then after that, you're going to be talking to actual experts on the WP Engine platform and on WordPress itself. So literally no issue that you guys can think of. We have you know, any issue you guys can think of. We have absolutely ran into it before. And so we like you guys to use our support team as kind of that first resource. Uh, if you don't know how to solve a problem in front of you, reach out to them, ask them what's going on. Uh, even if we can't solve that direct problem for you because it's related to the code of the website or maybe a plugin you're, that your customers are using, we're still going to be able to point you in the right direction and help you guys get started on that, that process of solving whatever that particular problem uh, is. Um, one distinction to note is that we do have, you know, level one and level two support. Level one is really there for the more basic issues and the triage, uh, you know, things like that that come up on a regular occurring basis. Um, premium customers that work with us, so anybody on a dedicated plan gets automatic access to the level two support immediately. So they'll get automatically routed to them from the get-go, uh, which can make solving some of those more convoluted issues that they'll probably run into uh, much, much faster. 
And then um, after that, um, you know, just really about taking care of all of your problems for you uh, right away. Typically, most issues that come into chat are going to be solved in about a 15 to 20 minute time span. That's going to be the uh, average time frame for anything that you guys can think of there. I'm happy to answer any questions about that, but really can't talk enough good things about our support team. They are incredible. They do amazing work for our customers literally every single day. Awesome. Thanks, Jeremy. Um, so kind of next, uh, just kind of going off of what Jeremy said for um, like support, we do have onboarding for our new customers that are going towards those dedicated environments. Uh, that's super uh, important just because when they normally are going to a dedicated environment, that's meaning that they're typically an enterprise or mid-market client. So they're really going to want to have kind of some of those deeper discussions on either site performance or kind of that monitoring when the DNS is switching over just because it is a higher value site. Um, not saying the smaller sites on shared aren't as valuable, but that's typically where the the importance of that onboarding is coming through. Um, so that's a little bit what that process looks like. They do get that onboarding manager for the first 30 days. Um, so kind of going to market strategy, what we do is we co-sell with you guys. So uh, with that being said, if you guys have a RFP or a proposal that you're needing to go through, we'll work with you guys to make sure it's fully you know, scoped and it's meeting those client needs. Uh, so if there's any legal or security we need to go through, we can do that. Um, and really make sure it's a, a, a solid recommendation. So um, with that, um, once though you are getting into kind of the, like winning the bid and going forward, we'll get that consultation from um, a sales specialist and they'll really be able to kind of figure out exactly what that looks like. Um, so this is kind of just outlined of what that process normally would be um so you guys would let me know when you have those different contracts that you're either trying to win or have one um we have passed on an account mapping sheet to you guys so that's something that if that works best we can do that or you guys can just email me the information and we can get that file started uh it's super important that we um are working together just so I can make sure that we are tagging your guys's agency and you guys are getting credit for um, the different projects you're bringing in. Um, the reason for that, and this kind of your guys's call to action, is if you are getting to that advanced member or strategic member level, um, that allows um, smart sites to be getting leads or co-marketing opportunities um and, and really kind of opens up more things that you guys can get um there's also a commission that is um available the higher up you get so um really just kind of want to help you guys be able to achieve those two levels um it doesn't take many projects to get there uh so with the amount of different uh partners uh, that you guys have within the agency I, I foresee it being really easy to hit strategic it's it just us working together um, on those different projects so with that being said do you guys have any questions um, for me or jeremy Uh, Ash? Yeah, hi. Thanks so much for all the great information. Um, maybe a good question that I have from my end is how to identify perhaps a client who uh, is either a good fit to moving over to WP Engine or to identify a time in perhaps um, either our website development process or you know their own development of their website when it might be a good time to start talking about this as an option. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I always kind of like to say the sooner the better, just because let's say they do need a security review or legal, we want to make sure that whenever that go live time is that we're ahead of it, because um, it's better for us to figure out what the solution is, and then we have to sit for maybe a month or two before you guys need to purchase the um, the, the different plan. So. Um, I think it's always better to kind of put a bug in my ear at least, because then if there's certain things that you share, then we'll know, okay, this is kind of the game of game plan moving forward. So I don't think it's ever too early, um, but we can have it where, you know, it's not too late, but 
things might not go off on the the timeline that you are wanting. So we can make miracles happen, but they they're definitely miracles when you you have it and you need it the day next. So um, the answer I think is just whenever you know, we can start having that conversation. Any other questions? Uh, Cassandra, was there anything else that you wanted to uh, go over today? <clears throat> no, I guess that wraps things up. That was a really quick lunch and learn. Thanks again for, you know, taking the time out of your day to come and share a little bit with us. Um, yeah, this was really informative and we're really excited to partner with WP Engine. We have a ton of clients that use you guys. Um, so I'm excited that we'll have, you know, an official PSC if we have any other questions that pop up. Awesome. Yeah. And if there's any projects that you guys currently have, definitely reach out. Um, would love to kind of get started with you guys and get you guys moving up on those partner tiers. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Thanks. Bye. Have a great weekend. See ya. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.